to be honest, um, if I, had, if I had to be honest, just look across all of mathematics, I think it's clear that the biggest unsolved problem in mathematics is called Riemann hypothesis. Riemann hypothesis is about a very special function, which is called Riemann zeta function. Bernard Riemann was a German mathematician in the 19th century who revolutionized several fields of mathematics. But perhaps this was the most famous work of, of, of Riemann, where on the one hand, he had this, he introduced this function, which is, uh, it's a function of a complex argument, so it, it has to do with complex numbers, like the famous i, the square root of negative one. Uh, so it's highly non-trivial function, but it captures the properties of prime numbers. Um, you know, prime numbers, numbers, uh, natural numbers, which are only divisible by one and themselves, such as two, three, five, seven, eleven, and so on. So the, uh, there are infinitely many prime numbers, and they behave in a, in a very unusual, very strange way. Riemann uh, Riemann's zeta function captures their behavior, but the, um, we can understand it uh, if, if Riemann hypothesis is true. And the Riemann hypothesis is about the description of the zeros of this function, where this function, the values of the argument at which the function becomes zero. And the statement is that they all lie on a single line. Well, apart from some, a, a few other zeros, which are kind of trivial, you see. And so, so it's hard to formulate, really. Uh, in detail, but if we knew, everybody thinks it's true, right? So, and it's been, I uh, would say 150 years, more than 150 years since he formulated it. Nobody has an, any idea how to prove it at the moment. Well, my, that might be too, an exaggeration. There are some ideas, but we're still seemingly far away from proving it. It's a big mystery, but it's a beautiful question. And perhaps one of the viewers of this, of this, of this video will, will one day be able to solve it.